It's no secret at this point that Psyonix has some pretty lofty goals for Rocket League. Look at what they had to say in this article. The definition of success for us is when Rocket League is the biggest sport in the world. Notice that he doesn't say the biggest eSport. Here's the question. How in the world does Psyonix expect a game that isn't even in the top five in terms of yearly earnings and viewers within eSports to go and surpass football and basketball and regular soccer and go on to become the biggest sport in the world? Now, I think part of this is the assumption that becoming the biggest eSport in the world in the coming year will mean becoming the biggest sport in the world. So way more kids are playing video games than traditional sports. ESPN is posting esports content. More of today's youngsters are watching esports and just gaming online than the World Series or the NBA playoffs. When Psyonix says that they see Rocket League becoming the biggest sport in the world, they're sort of assuming the fact that esports is going to soon be bigger and be a bigger community than traditional sports. So the goal is really to become the biggest esport because in the future, becoming the biggest esport means becoming the biggest sport. I think that's the assumption there. But how? Because it is possible. I believe it's possible for Rocket League to be the biggest esport and the biggest sport in the world. So before I get into what I think needs to be done for them to get to that place, let's talk about what Rocket League has going for itself. First, it's perfect for any age. You can feel absolutely no remorse showing your kids this game. It is not at all violent. It's simple. It's clean. This is part of the reason Fortnite has been so successful. It's reached the kids whose parents wouldn't normally let them play a shooter game, but it's still violent on some level. Like I still don't really want my kids to watch Fortnite or to play Fortnite just because they're so young and it's still guns and it's, you know, still you eliminating another person with a weapon, even if it is virtually. Rocket League is literally a sport and a non-violent one at that. Second, it truly is a sport. It's closer to any traditional sport than any other video game I've played, and you know it if you feel it. It feels more like a sport than FIFA or Madden. And I really believe that it will outlive those games as gamers are moving more towards truly competitive gaming that has a really like competitive feel to it. So what is keeping it from reaching that kind of audience? What does Psyonix need to do to make Rocket League bigger to then become the biggest esport in the world? Well, let's look at all these major esport titles. And I just want to ask the question, what do they all have in common? Or what do most of them have in common? And first and foremost, above all else, all of these major esports titles are now free to play besides CSGO. Now here's the problem with video games and especially these major esports titles. When you haven't tried them, you just don't get how amazing they are. They look silly. All of these games from the outset just don't really look that fun. And it's really hard when you're not a part of these communities to imagine them being fun and intense and competitive to play. And even more so, it's hard to fathom why millions of people watch these games. So the benefit of games like League of Legends and Dota and Heroes and Hearthstone and Smite is that they're free. So there's no risk. You don't have to spend money to try them. You don't have to make any sort of investment. And so they just bring in so many more people. And this is true of Fortnite also. I don't think I would have played it if it weren't free, or at least I wouldn't have played it as early as I did, even though I have the money. See, that's the crazy thing. It isn't just people who have no money who like can't play these games. Even if you have money, you're just like, eh, why would I pay 10 bucks? Why would I pay 20 bucks for this game? It could suck. The other thing is that you get the players who don't have money, AKA the seven to 12, 13 year olds. And obviously there's people in every walk of life who can't afford a 20 or a $40 game. This is so huge. If you can bring in thousands and thousands thousands of young players, your game will move to heights that you've never imagined. And obviously this comes with all sorts of difficulties, but this is really what you want. And this has happened with all of these major esports titles that have been around for years. These pros have been playing since they were kids, but there's a huge obstacle for middle schoolers to be able to get their hands on a game that costs money. And that's just the truth. A lot of people don't have money to just pay for these kinds of things. And when it's free and it's clean and it's competitive, oh, it's golden. I mean, just look at where Fortnite has come in the last year in terms of gameplay and it's not really because of you know the big name people like ninja and others it's these 12 year olds who devote their entire life to the game that's the market that rocket league just hasn't been able to tap into and i just can't see another reason other than the fact that it's 
not free. Esports are moving towards being free because traditional sports are free on some level. Now I know it costs something to buy basketball or to buy golf clubs or whatever, but in the end, you can usually find one in your garage and go and give it a try without spending any money. And if the time comes, once you've seen that it's worth it, you can spend the money then. If you don't have 20 bucks, you can't get a hold of that car and that ball in free play and give it a try. Like, you don't get to experience Rocket League unless you pay. The game should be free. I've said it before, and I truly believe it. Now, I know there's more to this. I know that people's jobs depend on Steam sales, and I'm pretty sure that Psyonix is waiting until the Steam sales start to go down before they go free to play. But here's the problem with that. It'll be too late to become the biggest sport in the world at that point. Families will have already dedicated their lives to other games. We've already seen this with Fortnite in America, but I mean, worldwide, it's like happening in other games. There are already families devoted to League and Dota and CSGO, and they travel for it, and they want their kids to be the best, and their kids' kids will play it. So I really think the time is now, because esports are taking over. If Rocket League actually wants to be on the forefront of that esports takeover, then it needs to happen sooner than later. So I said that this was first and foremost, but honestly, I think that this is it. I think the production for RLCS has gotten so much better. The collegiate Rocket League scene is amazing. They're doing most of the things right in terms of esports. All that is left now to reach the world with this game is to make it free. And maybe they're waiting to launch the free version of the game in China and see how it does. I'm not sure if the China version of Rocket League will have the Rocket Pass, if it does, it will be helpful to see what kind of sales they do for the keys and for the Rocket Pass there. It shouldn't cost anything to play this game. It's like some have described. Rocket League doesn't feel like a game that was created. It feels like it's always been there, like we discovered it. It's that good. It's just that right. Everything about it. And I'd be shocked if they weren't at least talking about Rocket League going free to play. Who knows? All right, guys, those are my thoughts on this issue. I know a lot of you agree with me, and I know maybe some of you don't. I'm curious to hear your thoughts, though. The big thing is that Rocket League is still doing so well on Steam, so why make it free? That's the big kicker for Psyonix. So what would you do if you ran the company, if you were in charge? What would you decide to do? Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time. Peace out.